they're paying the tax and paying the paying making a difference in our economy and and ending with the aches and pain every day uh, just to just to pay make 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 the uh, American dream happen so so uh, you got to take a look at what, what, what's going on here. You got you to gotta be, you know, at least say some kind words to these hardworking Americans. Everybody that put their foot in American America, as long as they're not creating crime, they should be able to stay in the United States. Okay, thank you. These people work hard, so hard. The broken phone. And uh, when, when, even, even when I watch them work, it brings tears to my eyes. I don't know if Donald Trump goes through the same thing, understanding every individual in the United States of America, what they're going through. Another thing is that, you know, the thing that brings tears to my eyes is that our veterans of America are treated wrong, totally wrong, you know. They pay the price in the field, they come to, they come home, they don't have nothing to look forward to but being in the street. Like, like a bum in the street. Can you think about that? Have, have we ever thought about that? I mean, living, living with the under ten, under $1,000 a month, needing to pay a portion of it as a rent, and then nothing, nothing left over for this, this American veterans to live, live on, you know? Uh, when they when they're living in that, that that studio, no no room to grow their finances uh, in that sense. So what happens is to these uh, American veterans is that because they don't have enough money, they're depressed. Depression causes them to go go into the street to find drugs, heroin, they're doing drugs to forget about their depression that, that they're going through, that the um, United States government has caused. And the thing is that what, what people are doing, you see, in, in the veterans hospital, they make an appointment I mean, it's severe injury too, severe case. They w wait four hours just to get their, their you know, surgery done. Four hours after getting shot or cut or anything like that, you know? I don't understand. I don't understand why America abandoned, abandoned our soldiers, our military our veterans and and uh, and and now not only veterans rest of the world rest of the people that's supposed to be that that pulls our way together to to form the united states what about those those farm workers what about those hard workers that paid 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 so so that everybody will will be fine you know and so I think um, our uh, government should look, look into the things that things that concerns us. What bothers our, us? What what made us come come out here to protest? Is Donald Trump is only thinking of, so, thinking so selfish about his own pocket? I mean, he's only thinking about his own pocket. Selfish, wicked leader only does that type of thing, you know? And I think Donald Trump 
is a very, very selfish man. To, to not understand the hardship of the United States of American people, what they go through. And I hope, I hope we will have a better leader that, that do understands us and what we go through. Well, what what our, uh, our concerns and needs are, you know? And, and, the, and the thing is that because of so much, so many veterans, majority of the drug users out here are a lot of them. I mean, I cannot say all of them. They're using drugs to, to get uh, rid of their stress and anxiety that caused from the from, from the from from the life from from the life itself that that brought to them, you know. And so I want uh, United States uh, President and, and the and and the Congress of America to have consideration for for us for us people, you know, all of us, you know. And, uh, and the thing is that uh, in order for uh, our country to uh, sustain is to create peace with other country, other people, you know, uh, to, to uh, conduct the globalized business to, to uh, enhance the uh, you know, United States economy, you know. But if if Donald Trump keep on cutting people down and uh, ridiculing people, and it's gonna also cause a uh, United States economy problem. We're gonna go into more deep depression than we have we have had since Donald Trump. I mean. Uh, Ronald Reagan, Ronald Reagan. We had depression, but uh, Ronald Reagan knew what, what, what was going on, but Donald Trump, he doesn't care about nobody, no hope, no dream for any of us at all. I have never heard him say some, something, any, any good things that he was, he's about to do for you, us, you know. Where, where's, where's the dream? Where's the American future going? Where, how, where is it leading us, you know? Where is it going? I want Donald, uh, uh, the Congress and senators in, in, in the White House the, to, to take a look at this issue and, you know, be, be, be more um, concerned about our, our country. Um, and, uh, we, we need some some peace. We need we need we need understanding for this country to sustain. Thank you.